Hey guys, I am so excited about this video. This video is going to be about 40 digital items that you can sell on Etsy. Now I've done videos in the past and I started out with 10 digital items and then 26 digital items. And I actually have a lot more than 40, which is actually 42. I just made it a nice round even number of 40 because some of them kind of fall into the same category. So I actually have a lot more and I will do another updated video in a few months on even more items that you can sell. But before I get into the video, I want to thank Biba Blanket Designs for sponsoring this video. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about what she does and she sells a very modern and innovative crochet patterns. So she creates these crochet patterns and she sells these on Etsy. So I have looked at her work and it is just amazing. So I'm going to pull up just a couple of her um, designs here. So right here um, on the featured items and just because it is getting near the holiday season, here is a pattern for a table runner for a crochet pattern. And she has this in her shop for $5.74 US dollars. Now she is actually located in Greece, so I'm not sure what that currency conversion is um, on that. So she has a perfect rating on her shop. So let's just take a look at this. Now this is a beautiful pattern. I wish I had this for myself, for my table for the holidays. She goes in to show just some more designs that she has, which these are colorful and vibrant. And then she kind of shows examples of what they look like. And then she finally has the instructions and the the pattern on how to do this and she has this beautifully uh, basically blurred out so you can't see it. You have to actually make the purchase in order to get this design. So yes, these are just beautiful items. So let me go back into her shop and I'm also going to pull up this one. This is a crochet Christmas Afghan blanket and She's even showing some of the yarn that she uses in this picture, and this is just beautiful. This looks like a gigantic snowflake in the middle to me. Um, once again, beautiful, vibrant colors. And then she kind of shows what this is going to look like um, if you laid this over like a sofa. And she takes a picture of the main image here. And right here, she's got this um, showing how you can make this. And, you know, these patterns, I'm not sure if you could do that. You could probably make these into um, like table placemats if you wanted to. Um, but yes, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, of all crochet patterns, I would say that hers are my favorite. This is just beautiful and vibrant colors. And once again, she shows that you are going to, this is what you're going to receive. You are going to receive the pattern and the instructions on how to make this. This item is actually rated a best seller. Okay, so let me go back into her shop one more time and I'm just going to kind of scroll through and show you some of the things that she has. Um, she's got uh, blankets, afghans and blankets, and motif. Um, let me go into this. So let me pull up one. This is a crochet square block motif pattern. 
And then these are written instructions, photo to, and she has a photo tutorial, unique textured unisex design. So I just love all of her designs. These are just amazing. So I love these. She's taken beautiful photographs as well. So, um, yes, and I am loving these vibrant colors and the color coordination that she has for these designs. And once again, she gives you, this is what you're paying for. For $3.45 US dollars, this is what you are purchasing right here is the instructions on how to make it. So um, I am just going to kind of scroll back up here to her shop and I'm going to leave it on this page. Now I am going to begin going over the 40 items that you can sell. I'm just going to name these off and in a few days I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to leave a list of all of these items so that it's just easier for you to see all of them. Um, so I do want to mention that there are so many niche ideas to sell on Etsy or wherever you sell. If you have your own website, um, if you sell on design bundles or the Hungry JPEG, wherever it is that you sell creative market, there are so many ideas. So number one, crochet patterns which has to do with my wonderful sponsor, Biba Blanket Designs today. And that kind of goes along too with doll clothes patterns, which is number two, and clothing patterns. So if you have a knack for designing clothing or doll clothing or crochet patterns, then you can turn that into a digital item and sell that on Etsy. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this too, Etsy cover photos. Now there's two different types of Etsy cover photos you can do. They have a big cover photo, kind of like this, and then they have a smaller one. So you can design Etsy cover photos. I also want to mention that you should always offer custom work on everything that you do. You know, when you make an Etsy listing, there's a box you can check if you do offer custom work, you know, if somebody, if you want to do something for them. You have the option of making things editable or you have the option of selling it as a digital item. The buyer will email you the information and then you make the design for them and email it back to them within, I always say, within 12 hours. Okay, another one, Etsy shop icon. Um, the other one, Etsy the Etsy order receipt banner. And now that I just named all of those, I wanted to say that you can also sell these individually and also you can sell them in a bundle. So you can take and sell the Etsy cover photo, shop icon, receipt banner, um, everything, and you can put those into a bundle and sell them all together. I highly recommend that you sell them separately and also um, sell them in a bundle. Somebody might want the bundle, but then again, somebody else may just want, you know, the Etsy cover photo alone, or they may just want the Etsy shop icon. Okay, social media templates. This is becoming a huge thing with so many people who are coming up with online businesses and they don't have time really to create their own or they don't really know how to you know so if somebody is selling something like they make handmade um, candles or they make pottery or something like that they may not have the design skills to make these social media templates themselves so they will come to a place like etsy and they will um, purchase it 
another one I would like to mention is Oh, and also back to that on social media templates. This goes for all social media. This is Instagram, Facebook, you know, anything and everything. Pinterest, um, you can make Pinterest. Uh, that's a huge Pinterest marketing is on, is a different video. Ebooks, long ebooks. So if you want to write about something, you can sell ebooks on Etsy. A lot of people don't actually know that. They think they have to go to Amazon, which is also another place you can sell your ebooks or something like that. But if you have a really long ebook that you would like to sell, you can also write that and you can sell it on Etsy. The other one, planners. Okay, this is a huge niche in itself because there is a planner for everything. There's a planner for weekly meals. There's planners for organization. There are planners for just about anything you can possibly think of. Okay, so on to the next. Desk calendars. You know, not everyone wants to have a calendar that is in a um, like a planner book, okay? They want one for their desk. So a desk calendar is another one that you can create or they may want both. And you could offer these in a bundle or you could offer both of them in your shop. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is short ebooks. Are you good at cooking something very special? Some recipe that's been passed down in your family generation that you would really like to share? So you can write a short cookbook on some family recipes that you would like to share. And short ebooks in any category that you would like to do is also something that you can sell on Etsy. Digital paper. Now, digital paper was originally designed because scrapbookers would purchase them directly on Etsy and a lot of times you will find digital papers will sell in the dimensions of 12 by 12. But, is what I use digital paper for is designing items. So I may use it, a lot of times I'll use it to cover something that is black and then I will, if you've watched any of my other videos and then I click lighten and then it turns it into that, like glitter paper, foil paper, design paper, watercolor paper. There's so many um, options with digital paper. So I hope that these are getting your creative juices going so far. And I don't want this video to be an hour long, so I'm just gonna go down the list. Um, invitations. This could be wedding invitations, party invitations, birthday party invitations, invitations of all sorts. Logos. You can do these either editable or you can edit for them. You can make pre-made logos and once again, they email you the information they want it to say. People will buy your design because they like the font, they like the design, and then the only thing you have to do is fill it in with the information they email you and then you email it back to them. Or if you prefer the editable version, you can also do that. Wedding signs. These are huge posters when you walk into a wedding and it says, welcome to the wedding of Michelle and Mike Smith and it has the wedding date on, on it below. Another thing, posters. You can make posters. If you have a knack for creating huge posters, whether it be artist or some type of just quote, you can make posters. You may also want to check with some of your local businesses and ask them if they need any posters for their businesses to 
display outside of their business. Okay, on to the next. Birth announcements, and I think that one speaks for itself. I do want to mention with birth announcements that you can do this as a photo template type birth announcement, or you can make the birth announcement. Um, usually these are around five by seven, something like that. You can get on Etsy and always study your market potential. Which leads me to the next one, photography templates. This is something else you can sell on Etsy that is a digital item. There are so many photographers out there that need photography templates for all seasons. Senior photos, Christmas pictures. I mean, there are so many options here. This is just, this video is just a brief overview of what you can sell. Junk journals. If you like recycling and you want to create junk journals, I know I have a lot of junk journal fans in my Facebook group and I personally love them myself. Okay, and bullet journals. If you want to stay organized, you can make a bullet journal. Okay, the next one, business cards. Now, this is a huge niche all in itself because you can design business cards or you can also have a branding package all in itself where you offer business cards, a logo, things like that. Okay, on to the next, clip art. If you are good at drawing and illustration, clip art is a huge seller on Etsy. And the reason why is because people use that clip art in order to make designs. So people need the clip art. Another one, party games. You can come up with any of these games. Um, they could be baby shower games, for example. A next huge niche, mock-up photos. If you are good with photography, mock-up photos of all kinds are a huge niche and very much needed because people who are selling on Etsy, they want to display their items in mock-up photos to show what it's going to look like on a wall, what it's going to look like in a photo frame, you know, etc. on that one. Okay, this kind of falls into the stationary category, um, notepads. You can make these um, either just with a design on them or you can offer to personalize them. Um, also, party decorations. I have seen people make party decorations such as happy birthday banners, you know, things like that. Coloring pages. A lot of times teachers, they will want to get right online and print something out and purchase it on your Etsy shop. Um, and coloring pages also, if you have a great knack for illustration, coloring pages are a great niche to go into as well. Okay, wall art. Now, you can do this. If you are an artist that is gifted with a talent of painting or drawing, you can sell wall art on Etsy where they print it out and have it framed. You can also do quote wall art. You can make these in different sizes, eight by 10, you know, 11 by 14, 24 by 36. You can make these in all different sizes. Digital photo frames. This is another huge one. So, you know, let's say that you had a 16th birthday party for your child and you just want to, you want to get on Etsy and you're looking for a photo frame to put a picture of your 16 year old in the photo frame. So, that is also another good niche to go into. Okay, on to the next, SVGs. Now, 
I know a lot of people think that this market is oversaturated and I could go on and on and on, but there's only so much time in this video. SVGs, it is really not about what you are selling. It is how you are marketing yourself. Okay, I could go on and on about that. Okay, so on to the next, gift tags. You can make these in the, um, like the brown gift tags, or you can make them on sticky paper. So these are perfect to print out, especially, you know, around the holiday season, you can make Christmas gift tags. You can make gift tags because gift tags are a year round item for birthdays and all different occasions. Okay, all things wedding, you know, save the date, invitations. There, there is a huge category, table numbers. I mean, there are so many things, the menu, um, so many digital items you can create if you want to go into the wedding niche, okay? Labels, this is great for things like wine bottles. Um, if you make homemade, or people who make homemade candles, they will come on Etsy and they may purchase labels to go on to their, um, their candles that they created. Stationery. This is great. Um, any type. Stationery is sort of a huge niche because you can make stationery that's just plain designed paper or you can make stationery with lines on it or you can also offer to do business stationery. There might be a local business to send you their logo and they want you to make um, some sort of letterhead for them. Okay, on to the next. Custom flyers for business, speaking of business. So if you create stationery for them, they, meet, they might need flyers for business. You may also want to, we all know realtors. We all have friends on our social media who sell real estate. And you may want to offer to do custom flyers for their business. Okay, sublimation. This is where sublimation, if you don't know what that is, it, it looks like clip art and it can be used as clip art, but is what it's meant for is to heat press onto a t-shirt, tote bag, I you know, ball cap, things like that. Sweatshirt, all those things. I did a video on sublimation um, not long ago. Okay, flashcards. Um, this is also something else that you can sell. So flashcards, if you have, you know, a child who, or children who are trying to learn their letters or numbers or things like that, or even more advanced into the grade school level where they are learning words, you can make flashcards and you can sell those on Etsy. Okay, if you have a knack for handwriting, fonts, you can sell fonts as a digital item on Etsy. And the last one I want to go into is print on demand. Now my favorite is Printful, and you can actually integrate Printful with Etsy, and you can sell so many different things, t-shirts, coffee mugs, tote bags, wall art. There are so many things that you can do and I have done videos in the past on print on demand. It's something that you design and they drop ship it for you. You, it never, you never touch it. So, um, I used to do this and I never had any unhappy customers. So that is just something else. So that wraps up the 42 items that you can sell on Etsy, the 42 digital items you can sell on Etsy. I also want to come back here and thank Biba Blanket Designs for sponsoring this video. I'm going to leave a link to her shop in the description below this video. Please visit her shop and check it out. Um, you may see something that you like, especially if you really enjoy 
um, sewing and crocheting, things like that. So thank you so much, Biba Blanket Designs, for sponsoring this video. I hope this video was extremely helpful and got those creative juices flowing as far as the 40, item, 40 digital items to sell on Etsy. And I hope it was helpful and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.